Ventura, California is one of the most fun and inviting places to hang out in the entire country. The perfect sunny days and temperate weather make it that much easier to get out and enjoy it all. On this video, we're going to be talking about what it's like to live and play in downtown Ventura. We're going to talk about the spots you shouldn't miss, and we're going to have some great interviews with interesting locals. So let's get to it. The number one question we get from clients is, where are the good places to eat and hang out? Here's a couple of our favorites. Moofish Restaurant has a mouth-watering burger and locally sourced food. Leashless Brewing has amazing beer with an outdoor patio, live music, and food trucks. The clams are fresh and sweet with a coast-style atmosphere at Lure Fish House. If you like thin crust pizza and a party crowd with music, then try Tony Pizza Thin Crust. Here's a few other great spots. I would lean to Topa Topa. Yeah, Topa Topa is like the best to me. Yeah. <laughs> and after surfing, we go to Topa Topa and it's like, I don't know, like the aesthetic of that place and like the feeling of it. I don't know, it's like refreshing. It's like just getting out of the water and yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I mean, it's just a rich, it's just a ritual at this point. If you want a vindaloo that's gonna melt your face in the best way possible, you want the Himalaya. It's, it's fantastic, fantastic. It hurts so good. For face melting, go to Himalaya. Face melting That's their catch vindaloo. <laughs> Whether you're local or just visiting, Sarah Cross is not to be missed. It is spectacular and has breathtaking views of Ventura, the ocean, and Channel Islands. You can either hike up or drive to the Cross, which sits on top of a 107 acre park. Once you get there, you can sit on a bench, eat at a picnic table, and watch and listen to the hummingbirds, or sit and relax on the grass and enjoy the view. There's so many fun things to do in the downtown, you can almost forget there's an ocean nearby. It's an easy walk over to C Street, the pier, the boardwalk, and Surfer's Point. But this is kind of like one of the best spots for like to longboard at, in Ventura at least. So yeah, it's really fun. And there's a contest tomorrow, actually. Oh, wow, Jeff Bells are you guys absolutely showing us how to uh -oh. surf the uh -oh. toe. Uh -oh. Here uh -oh. at the Stu Street Classic. Holy moly, you guys, he's not done. Oh! We love to come over, go for a walk on the boardwalk with our dogs, check out all the surfing action, and then we walk up there's lots of kite surfers there. Also, there is pretty reasonable parking over at Surfers Point in the county in the county fairgrounds. Ventura Botanical Gardens is not your average go and stroll in the park garden. It's actually a destination spot for many people to go on a gentle sloping mile-long hike. The hiking trail passes along a historic stone wall with hand-built stone wall enhancements and viewing areas. There are different plants blooming year round, so every time you visit, you have something new to see. Not to mention the exceptional view of the ocean and city as you walk. The history of the mission dates all the way back to 1782 when the San Buenaventura mission was built. There's numerous other historical spots that are an easy walk from here as well. And this is also the area where the farmer's market happens every Saturday. The Museum of Ventura County highlights the culture, history, and art of this diverse area. It has rotating exhibits and special events year-round. Currently, admission to the museum is free, but they do ask if you can afford a membership to join in order to keep it free for others. The San Buenaventura City Hall, located one block up from the pedestrian mall, is a must-see. It is an eye-catching building with marble flooring, crown molding, sculptures, and housing art collections as well. Not only does Ventura have wonderful spots that you can visit daily, but they have a plethora of festivals that happen year-round. For example, there is the St. Patrick's Day Parade, the holiday tree lighting with an interactive globe, and the Harvest Moon Spectacular was a trick-or-treating throughout the downtown businesses, an annual taste of local food, wine, and brew festivals, and the Aloha Beach Festival. These are just a few of the examples of the many events that happen year-round in downtown Ventura. There are so many beautiful parks in the downtown area that are easy to walk to. 
A few parks have historic status, such as Cemetery Memorial Park. It used to be cemetery, but now doesn't have any headstones. It does, however, have expansive views of the ocean. There's also Eastwood Park, which has an old mission aqueduct filtration building. And Plaza Park, which is home to one of the largest Martin Bay fig trees in the nation. It was planted way back in 1874 and is absolutely beautiful. This park has restrooms, a playground, picnic areas, and a gazebo. And when people want to hold a rally in Ventura County, this is where they go. What, like she mentioned, the beach is only like freaking five minute walk, so it's pretty cool. And it's dog friendly. Oh we yeah, they, they're they from that. Washington, so we they love we that. We don't take our dogs anywhere downtown. You see it's family oriented here. Very family oriented, Very yeah. family friendly, it's pretty cool. We like that. Do you guys have a restaurant you? I like Limon y Sal. I love it, their ceviche. Fire. Is awesome. Good, very good. Just like in any Southern California beach town, you are going to find the homeless. However, in Ventura, most of the homeless could be found in the suburbs. But don't be surprised if you find a homeless person sleeping in the park, or living out of their vehicle, or hanging out around the supermarket. While most people go shopping on the pedestrian mall or in Midtown Ventura, there are some lovely shops to visit when you're downtown. The Ventura Antique Market is where you can find a new treasure whenever you stop by, and maybe a possessed doll or two. Patagonia in Ventura is the original store. A couple of times a year, they discount items from the store, which makes it a special treat to buy jackets, shirts, and outdoor clothing. And Moss Botanicals. They have essential oils, body rolls, and sprays, and formulated mixtures. If you found this video interesting, be sure to like and subscribe. We have lots more videos coming out on Ventura County. We are local real estate agents and we love hearing from our viewers. So if you have any questions about this area or other areas in Ventura County, please give us a call. We love to discuss it with you.